So this little dog is super cute. It can stand up on its own. Super adorable little Scotty dog. So let's get started with making that. So we already have a fold from whenever we were making this into a square. So actually, you know, sometimes I find it's easier if we can tell which side is the front and which side is the back. So what I'm going to do is get a crayon and I'm going to do a brown crayon since we're making a dog. And I'm just going to quickly, lightly color one side so that I can tell which side of my paper is the front and which side of my paper is the back. In traditional origami, if you buy origami paper, you'll see that that paper has one side is one color and one side is another color. That can help you figure out which side is front and back and it can, some origami patterns that are more complicated, use those colors in their design. So I'm just quickly, lightly coloring this side brown so that I can tell which side's the front and which side's the back. So I have this folded like a triangle so the brown side is in. Then I'm going to open it back up and fold it in the other direction, matching up the corners as best I can. Again, they're probably not going to be perfect. Just do your best. Like right there, not perfect. Just a little bit of a square. Totally fine. And again, you want to make sure your creases are nice and strong, so you use your nail to run along that crease. So now we should have an X in our paper. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold a rectangle. So we're going to bring the bottom, fold it to the top. And your line should be right on the middle of that X, on the middle of the paper. Should. Doesn't, necess doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be perfectly right there, especially if this is the first time you're doing it. But that can be a kind of a guide. If you're close to it, you know you're close to right. Now we're going to open it up, turn it, and do the exact same thing again. So I had it folded like this, opened it up, turned it, and now I'm folding up again. Matching up my corners, matching up my middle, Again, we're not going for perfection here. We're going for closeness, especially if this is the first time you're ever doing this. Or even the second or third. Origami is the art of folding, so it takes a lot, a lot of practice. Now we're going to take each of these corners and fold them in, kind of like how y'all make fortune tellers. And you see how I'm using my nail to fold that nice and crisp. So I'm folding each one of these corners in. And don't forget to pause if you need to pause the video. Okay, and really, this is probably my best corner right here. This one is not my best. You can see how it's kind of a square, but I'm still going to go with it because it's pretty close. We can't expect to have perfection unless we're like a master at this and have practiced a whole ton. And honestly, I'm not a master, but that one, I mean, out of four corners, I've got one that's good. The rest of them are just okay. And that's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these flaps. We're going to open it up. And we're going to bring the corner to this line. We can see this crease fold here. We're going to bring the corner in to here. Right to the middle. Crease it nicely. Put the back of your finger. And then fold it back in. Tuck it away because we don't need it yet. Then we're going to go to the other side. And we're going to take this and we're going to not... Do the same thing. We're not doing the same thing. This one's kind of opposite. So we're folding it out. So we should be able to see that color that you colored. And we're going to fold it out further. This is sticking out because this is going to end up, end up being the tail. The further you have it stick out, the longer your Scotty Dog's tail is going to be. Now they don't have long swooshy tails like bigger dogs. So we don't need it sticking out super far. Now, we're going to take this whole thing 
And we're going to bring the top and fold it down. So I'm going to bring the top and fold the top down. And anytime we do a step, we kind of want to smush everything back down again. Oh, I'm shaking my table from smoothing out my paper. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take this top flap and we're going to pull this triangle out because we don't want this folded for what our next step is. Then we are going to make a fold that goes from here, this corner, to this corner. And if you want to, sometimes I even find it helps if I do like a little line showing, okay, that's where I want to fold it. Make that darker for you guys. You don't have to draw this just to help you guys see. I'm folding from here to here. So I'm going to put my fingers here and here because sometimes that helps if you put your fingers on the edges. And then you fold up. So now I'm looking at this corner and this corner to make sure they are nice and pointy. And I really use the back of my nail, smush this down. Now I'm going to take this flap and just close it back along the lines that was already there. This is looking weird, not looking like a dog, but trust me, it will. So now I'm gonna flip this whole thing over and I'm going to do that exact same step. So I pull this triangle out. Then I'm going to fold, but now that we flipped it over, we're doing it on the opposite side. Or we're doing it in opposite diagonal. Before we were doing it from this diagonal, now we're doing it at this diagonal. So if you want to, you can use a crayon or a marker or a pencil to draw that diagonal line to help you. Or you can just follow along with me. Put my fingers here and here to help me. You can pull to help the paper pull on that spot. And you can see we already have that fold before, so we can just match up with the one from before. And if you're having trouble at this, remember, you don't have to do this Scotty dog. You can go and look up other origami animals or origami flowers or anything with origami. There's tons of different things. Now we're almost done. So close. Before we do our last step, we want to really smush everything down, make sure everything is nice and folded. Then, last step. Our Scotty dog's missing a chin and its chin is hiding. If you look underneath here, its chin is inside here. We take this little flap and we pull it and we make it fold inside out. You can kind of stick your finger inside there. And now he has a head. Then you can take your crayon or a pencil or a marker, give him a little nose, little eye. And I like to take one of these little ears and fold it down, not all the way, just a little bit so it kind of bends. So then it kind of looks like a dog with one ear quirked. And then it will stand up all by itself. So cute. All right, I hope you had fun. Oh, that's my Alexa. All right, I hope you had fun and Good luck.